Item number SCP-7591, Security Level 1, Containment Class, Pending, Special Containment Procedures, Not Applicable, Description, SCP-7591 is a method of murder utilized by researcher Alex Thorley on at least one person. By nature, murder by use of SCP-7591 are unable to be confirmed, and any physical evidence is completely erased from the present reality. This includes a weapon, the deceased, traces of DNA, and other information that would lead to the confirmation of the murder. Despite the lack of evidence, those who encounter a person who used SCP-7591 will infallibly become aware that a murder took place and that the user of SCP-7591 is responsible. Addendum 7591-1 Investigation On December 24th, 2019, Alex Thorley was transferred to Site-322 as part of unrelated investigatory research. During this time frame, SCP-7591 was either created or discovered in secret by Thorley, who used it the same day. Transcript Begin log. It is pizza day, so the cafeteria is very crowded. I thoroughly killed someone. I knew it. Shh! Christ, Neil, don't bring attention to us. We all know they killed someone. Yeah, it's pretty clear. I thoroughly killed a guy. I thoroughly killed a guy. From another table, Dr. Marley Mooney joins the conversation. Are you talking about Thorley? Yeah, we are. They definitely killed someone. 100%. I wonder how, though. How can you be so bad at killing someone everyone knows? As he passes, researcher clicks interjects. You guys talking about our story killing someone? Yeah, 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 yeah. Crazy stuff. Clicks leave, chomping a donut as he does. The rest of the cafeteria guests begin to discuss the acclamations of Thorley's murderous actions. Director Log and SCP-5595 enter the cafeteria and maneuver to the buffet line. I don't need to tolerate this from you. Just like you tolerate murder. I told you to shut up. Oh, you're covering me up now, are you? Cop, cop, cop. We're doing an internal review. Did you guys hear that? He said it. Cop, cop, live at the pig. I can fire someone without evidence. We all know I'm story killer guy. Many just bigger than it is isn't helping anyone. When I see big, SCP-5595 turns to the cafeteria. Hey everyone, Alex Foley killed a guy! The entire cafeteria responds in unison. We know! And no! Following pressure on Site-322 upper management, Research Authority was asked to discuss these accusations with Director Log. Transcript. Begin Log. Have you ever had violent thoughts? I guess. How often am I supposed to count them? Average it. Really. Ever act on them? No. Childhood. You ever do the ant-magnifying glass thing? No. Would you consider yourself a temperamental person? I don't know. Probably not. Favorite movie? What? Christ, throw me a bone here. I've been dealing with this all day and I want to go home. Did you kill someone? No. Why does everyone think you did? I don't know. If I ran entire sleep to a housing assignment for the last ten years, would that worry you? Should I be worried? You tell me. No. <sighs> okay, thank you, Alex. Sure. And no. I don't know. 75 and 1, 2. Transfer. On December 25th, 2019, as it became increasingly clear that Thori had indeed murdered someone, Despite lack of evidence, they are forced to transfer to another site to prevent productivity issues across Site-322. Thorley was told to be ready for the transport by the end of the 25th. The following event took place on that date. Transcript. Begin log. Thorley begins packing what little items they have, placing the work laptop, notebooks, loose pieces of paper, and a Rubik's Cube in a small shoulder bag. Thorley goes to retrieve their clothing from the room's closet. As they open the door, a bloody body falls out face first. Thorley is clearly startled and dashes to the opposite end of the room. Slowly, Thorley approaches the body, picking its arm up 
and rolling it over, revealing the body to belong to Alex Foley. Foley stares at the corpse as they appear to calm down. Foley retrieves the phone and dials a three-digit number. Hey, it happened again. The closet this time. Yeah, worse. Everyone, the entire site. No, I'll... Beast, no. <sighs> I'll do it. Thorley retrieves a trash bag from an unsupervised janitor's cart. Thorley places the mangled body into the trash bag, then secures the trash bag in a large duffel bag and slings it over their shoulder, almost knocking themselves off balance. They peek their head out of the door, shovel back and forth into the room, then quickly walk out of Site 322 and log.